Hello and welcome to your 25th Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and build the um, newsletter urls.py file, which we haven't created yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So the urls.py file is not included by default. And the reason why, uh, if I haven't mentioned this before, why we like to include the urls.py file and, for example, our forms.py file in our application and not in some other locations because we want to make our applications portable. So let's go ahead and create a file and it's called urls.py. Alright, cool. Um, so first thing we need to do is click that button no. Uh, first thing we want to do is go ahead and import the URL function because that's how we set up our URLs is using the URL function. So how do we get access to that URL function? We do from django.conf.urls import URL. All right. So now we have access to the URL function. Now the next thing we need access to is our two views that we created. And our two views, um, one is the sign up and the other is the unsubscribe we need access to those views in our urls.py. So let's go ahead and import that. So we'll say from dot views, uh, import newsletter sign up and newsletter unsubscribe. And you notice um, before I showed you something like this, all right? And then I import it. Well, now I'm gonna show you like this, all right? This makes it actually more, uh, Portable, in my opinion. Um, so if we want to use this somewhere else, if we use this method, it's going to be a little bit easier. So, and less code to write, actually, because you'll see in a second. All right, so um, next thing we need is our URL patterns that represents a list. Now, the reason why we use our URL patterns is because Django, when it's looking at our urls.py file, it looks for the variable URL patterns. And then it's going to look inside that list for the URL function right here. All right, so inside the list, we need a URL function. So that's what it's looking for. So first, we need to say, hey, here's URL patterns. Patterns. Um, looking here, all right, for our URL function. So let's go ahead and create our URL function. All right, and I'm just going to create another one because we need two of them. Um, next thing we need to do is add our raw string, which we saw before. So R and then the quotes, single or double, whatever you feel like using. And we're going to say sign uh, up forward slash dollar sign. And I don't know if we saw the dollar sign, but the dollar sign says, hey, there's no more, um, after this, so just stop there, okay? And that's what the dollar sign does. Uh, now we need to um, bring our view into play because the URL function takes at least three parameters or arguments, I should say. It takes the, the URL string, which we just built with our raw string, and then it takes the news or our view, which we're going to use newsletter sign up, all right? And then it takes the name of the URL. and the name of the URL makes our life a lot easier when we're setting um, uh, hyperlinks or links in our web app, all right? So instead of saying, uh, writing out the URL every time, we can just say, hey, we want this URL named this, and it will display that URL. So that's why we provide a name. So name is equal to uh, newsletter sign up, all right? So the next URL we're going to create is our unsubscribe URL. So same thing. This is just a raw string and then unsubscribe uh, forward slash and dollar sign. All right. And then we pass our view just like we did in the above one. So newsletter unsubscribe. And then we give, then we give it a name. So we do name is equal to and we'll call this one news letter on sub there we go so it looks like that all right 
So that is our um, URLs.py file in our newsletter app. So I'll see you in the next tutorial where we start building the templates. Have a nice day.